What do you see when you stand outside and look up? A blue sky, a group of clouds. At night you might see a crescent moon, stars, a satellite. What you are not seeing, however, is the complexity of our atmosphere. Now, the question is, what is atmosphere? An atmosphere is a blanket of gases that surrounds Earth. Argon, oxygen and nitrogen are the main constituents of the atmosphere. The atmosphere can be divided into layers based on its temperature. These layers are the troposphere, the stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and the exosphere. This is the lowest part of the atmosphere, the part we live in. It contains most of our weather, clouds, rain, snow. In this part of the atmosphere, the temperature gets colder as the distance above the earth increases by about 6.5 degrees Celsius per kilometer. The lowest part of the troposphere is called the boundary layer and the top of the troposphere is called the tropopause. Stratosphere extends upward from the tropopause to about 50 km. It contains much of the ozone layer in the atmosphere. The increase in temperature with height occurs because of absorption of ultraviolet radiation from the sun by this ozone. By absorbing dangerous UV radiation, the ozone in the stratosphere protects us from skin cancer and other health damage. The region above the stratosphere is called the mesosphere. Here, temperature again decreases with height, reaching a minimum of about minus 90 degrees Celsius at the mesopause. Thermosphere lies above the mesosphere and this is a region where the temperature increases as you go higher up. The temperature increase is caused due to the absorption of energetic, ultraviolet and X-ray radiation from the sun. Satellites orbit Earth within the thermosphere. Temperatures in the upper thermosphere can range from about 500 degrees Celsius to 2000 degrees Celsius or higher. The aurora, the northern lights and southern lights occur in the thermosphere. Exosphere is the final layer of the Earth gaseous envelope. The air in the exosphere is constantly but gradually leaking out of the Earth's atmosphere into outer space. There is no clear-cut upper boundary where the exosphere finally fades away into space.